CataractCoach.com, dealing with a decimate membrane detachment at the time of cataract surgery. How do we fix this? We have an anonymous resident who's operating. I'm going to start at the incision right at the limbal vessels, doing a triplanar technique, good tunnel length, that looks great, and in the anterior chamber, beautiful incision, no issues there at all. At the end of the surgery here, IOLs in the capsular bag, good overlap by that capsular axis, optic is held securely. Now watch the main incision. As we hydrate it here, there's that big flap. Do you see that? Right there at the incision. There's a big decimate attachment right at the incision. So what should we do here? Well, let's do a little bit of hydration of the incision, but we've lost the endothelial pump function. And at the incision site, we don't have that to keep it closed anymore. And so we're going to have to put a suture in and maybe even an air bubble. Let's look under the OCT analysis. There's the incision, and there you can clearly see that's the decimate attachment. Now, it could have been from putting the phaco probe in the eye or the IOL injector. Something catches that edge of decimates, and it gets detached there. And we can see it's clearly a detachment. The incision sealed pretty well. If we uh, stop it here, and look, there's a detachment of the membrane in yellow, and then you can see in green a good phaco incision. So definitely put a suture in. You don't have that endothelial cell pump function. It's not going to seal the incision very well, even though the incision architecture is good. Put in the suture, and in this case, we got very lucky. That flap of decimase went right back into position. If you need to, you can also put in an air bubble or even position the patient. Let's look at a different case. Here's another anonymous resin operating making the incision. There we go. It's a little on the short side for the tunnel length, but I'll take it. Not bad. And then you can see it's quite a cortical cataract. Finishing up the capsular rexus here. It's not going to be a very difficult case. At the end of the case, removing the cortex from the eye, look at the incision. What is that that you see just inside the incision? Hmm, look carefully. Is that a big decimate attachment? Gosh, it's getting awfully close to the central visual axis. So sometimes it's hard to tell what's going on in these types of cases, but certainly there's something there. Let's inject some viscoelastic. That may help push it around a little bit. Let's look with the OCT. Well, the OCT, the cornea looks pretty normal there. I don't really see anything. I don't see an attachment of decimates. But now look at the incision. Oh, there is a membrane in the incision. What is that? There's a membrane that's stuck in the phaco incision. Certainly there's something there. You see it on the OCT. Well, interestingly enough, it turns out we're going to get this membrane outside the eye. Watch carefully. I'll show you the live OCT. We're going to have the resident depress the posterior lip of the incision. And look what happens. Depressing the posterior lip of the incision, that membrane just comes all the way out. That was a remnant of the capsular rexus. And it's out of the eye completely. Not sure how it presented that way, but that was not a decimated attachment. So the end of the case here, now looking, it looks perfectly normal. There is no decimated attachment. Slightly short on the incision, which is no big deal. And we can put the IOL in the eye now, and we'll be very careful in IOL insertion to make sure we're angling this down towards the capsular bag to avoid hitting the decimate edge. Check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. Ton of great material, including videos like this. You can sign up for a free daily email. We'll send the video right to your inbox, and it's got a lot more material than just watching the YouTube channel. Check it out.